So we're doing a Continental Destination Challenge today, and there are going to be three parts to this bad boy. Each competition is worth one Continental Championship point. Got it? Got it. It's man on man, woman on woman, because there's no way I'm taking you two on, even though I think I could. The Beatles, a lot of talk. Now it's time for her to put her money where her mouth is and see if she can back it up. We're going to do the uh, face-off competition now. Whoever gets the uh, best of seven gets your Continental Destination point. I'm ready to do this. I'm definitely bringing it all. I'm here to play. Set. Go. Beetle and I start off with a face-off, best of seven. She was an animal. And I just, you know, tried with every inch and pound of myself to, you know, knock her down, but I just, I couldn't do it. Maria was feisty. I honestly thought, being that I am significantly bigger than she is, I was just going to walk in there, pound her, and that'd be it. <laughs> you have a winner. <laughs> I was very impressed by her fight and a little embarrassed that it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Nope. And round and round they go. Lacrosse is somewhere between rugby and football without the padding. Oh my god! <laughs> The object is to win the possession of the ball by any means necessary. So you can hit him from the side, you can use your stick to whack the ball, you can kick the ball. <laughs> it was a battle. There were several that he was very close to winning, and you know, I just knocked the ball out of the way at the last minute. So who we got for the sixth race here? Our plan was to go straight to the betting window, and that's exactly what we did. For the sixth race, I'd like number seven to win, number seven to place. I want two dollars on a long shot of number five. Thank you. Big money, big money. Look how many tickets I have. When it comes to gambling, Maria's in her element. I want number seven to be long shot. And then How do you know the lingo? Level. She's got skills. I really don't know what to say. I don't know anything about the art of gambling. She's kind of like the Brooklyn Storm right now. She's spouting out terminology that I've never heard before. I'm gonna get more. I have to get more. I have to. I'm gonna get at least a, a few more. How long are we staying? I love this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We were downstairs and we then walked up here to the box seats. You know, it was a great vantage point to watch these horses go around the track. Oh, I like that horse. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that, get her! That's that's get Army Farley right there. That's, that's, that's Chevy Land. Oh, look at race. that. <laughs> oh, it's all over New York. It's all over New York. So we got away. Yeah. The highlight of the day by far was the fact that we had a race in our name. It's always cool to see your name in print anytime you get the chance to. No I'm more enjoying this a lot. Race. I'm going to win a lot of money today. Here we go. Where? I'm gonna trust nobody. Trust nobody. Trust nobody. Trust go. nobody. Go, 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 go. Here's one to go. It's wide open. Oh no! Oh no! Six is killing it. Six goes down to the line. Head bobbing either way. Oh, I want something. I have five. I have two fives. These races are not very long. They're very short, but uh, man, are they exciting! You got a quick rush. <laughs> I just won $131. As long as I Oh my god! Woohoo! Bushku! As an added bonus, we got to uh, step into the winner's circle. And, you know, as Yankee fans, we're used to winning, so uh, we felt right at home there. Maria presented the winning jockey and the winning trainer and the winning owner with a plaque that you get at the end of that race. Congratulations! Overall, it was a great day to be a road trip or a great day to be in Saratoga Springs, New York. We felt very special today. I love New York hooked us up. They just, you know, treated us like kings and queens. Bushku! <laughs>